Hey guys, how's it going? It's Rob Sutton with Bike 198. We're back here with another video. Today we are actually going to talk about why I ditched the cycling computers on my bike. Back in the day when Garmin first came out and their Garmin Connect software, it really opened up a world of limitless possibilities of hooking up sensors and data to your bike so that you can record your ride and see your data after the fact. So ultimately, why did I get rid of these things? And it came at a time where I decided to make a decision about what I was going to do about my wearables. Up until this point, I've been wearing an Apple Watch with my iPhone and been pretty happy with it. But when I switched to this Garmin Phoenix 6X, it really made me rethink about how I want to record my rides and interact with my data while on the bike. So I made the decision to get rid of every single computer that I was strapping to my bike and go solely to this Garmin wearable. So first let's get into the good things that I actually like about making this switch. One, it is one device for all. I no longer have to worry about whether I brought my cycling computer with me out to the trailhead. It's only one device that I have to worry about charging and it's always with me. So I don't have to worry about multiple devices every time I'm going for a ride, going for a run, or want to do anything else that requires the watch to be with me. And that is a lot less to worry about when you're heading out to the trailhead. How many times have you gotten to the trailhead just to find out that one, your computer wasn't charged or it's still sitting on the charger at home? that really kind of gets rid of that complication and makes things a lot simpler. Number two, the overall cost. When you start adding up the cost of an Apple Watch, the cost of the cycling computer, it really starts to add up if you wanna get a decent computer and a decent watch. When you go to just one Garmin setup, it becomes a lot cheaper when you consider the overall cost of having two devices. So I was able to get in and have everything I needed with one device for a lower cost. And number three, multi-sport use. Riding bikes is not the only thing I do out there. So to have one device that does everything is great. Whether I'm surfing behind the boat, where I'm going for my run, going for a walk with my wife, getting on the bike, doing a gravel ride, mountain bike ride, it really doesn't matter. This is one device that can handle all of those needs all at once. And four, heart rate monitoring. I don't know how you guys feel about heart rate straps, but I absolutely hate them. I hate wearing one. It is a complete annoyance to me when I'm out on the trail. While this wrist might not be as accurate as a heart rate monitor, that you do to your chest, it's accurate enough for me. I'm not a professional athlete where I have to worry about those little minute differences. With the, if I'm within 5%, it really does work out for me well. So it's one less thing I have to wear when I have this being monitored on the Garmin that uploads all of the software just like it is seamlessly. And number five, battery life. The Garmin watches have a much longer battery life than any of the Apple watches, even the ones that just came out recently. So I'm able to wear this for six days with absolutely everything on. If I want to get really picky about it, I can turn off some settings and have it work for weeks. Or the Apple watch had to be charged every single night. So it's one less thing I have to worry about charging every single day. And it's one less thing I have to worry about charging when I get to the trailhead. It's just always with me. It's always charged and it's easy to use. So number six, wrecks and device detection. I've actually lost a computer before when it wrecked and it broke the mount. There have been multiple times where I've forgotten to take the computer off the bike when I'm flipping the bike over to work on it and you end up putting it in rocks and dirt. When you have it on your wrist, it's just one less thing to worry about. I also find that these watches are a lot more durable than the Apple watches. So overall, when it comes to wrecks and overall device durability, it is much easier to have it on your wrist with a durable watch than it is to be using an Apple watch and a cycling computer. It's just one less thing to worry about damaging. And number seven, and this is actually the big one for me. I find that I obsess about data if it's right in front of my face. When you have the computer right there on the bar staring at you 24 seven, I find that I look at that computer a lot more than I should be. When you have a Garmin watch on, you actually have to turn your wrist to see your data. That makes it so you obsess a lot less about it if you're a person like me out on the trail. So I find that I worry a lot less about my data segments and other things while I'm out riding if I'm not sitting there staring at the data 24 seven. So the watch really helps with getting back to the ride, getting back to nature, and forgetting about that computer that's right there in front of me. So obviously it's not all roses going to a watch versus a dedicated cycling computer. So let's get in some of the drawbacks that you might find if you decide to go with this setup. First, and this is probably the biggest one, it's maps and directions. If you are a person that is doing a lot of new routes where you really require maps to get you to where you're going, having a computer right in front of your face is a huge advantage versus using the watch. As I mentioned with data before, you actually have to turn your wrist to see where you're going or to get any alerts on your watch where it's right there in front of your face on the computer. So if you're someone that requires maps and does a lot of new trails, going to this setup might not work out very well for you. So that's something to keep in mind. And number two, smart watch functions. I like to call the Garmin a fitness watch with some smart watch functions, where the Apple watch is a smart watch with some fitness functions. And that's a pretty big contradiction. So if you're someone that relies on your watch a lot for data, cellular, 
listening to music, answering texts, going to the Garmin is going to have some major drawbacks in those sections. I find I didn't use my watch for answering texts. Now I do miss the music function a little bit, even though you can download playlists to this Garmin, it makes it a little bit easier to use. But when it comes to those really big smartwatch functions, you're not going to get as much of that with the Garmin as you do with a watch like the Apple Watch. And three, it is having to turn your wrist to see your data while you're on the bike. I know I listed this as a pro before, but it could also be a drawback if you were really needed to look at your data a lot on a ride for some reason, whether your heart rate's getting out of control or you're having to watch your mileage or something else, it is not right there in front of you. So if you're someone that needs to look at that data consistently for training or any other purpose, it is a little bit harder with the watch as you have to turn it and the screen is not as large. So that is the drawbacks when it comes to maps or data or anything else is that you do have to turn your wrist with a smaller screen than you are used to with a computer. So guys, that's why I switched to the watch setup for myself. The positives for this really kind of outweigh the negatives for me. And I still have a couple computers laying around if I need to do a map or something else. But for my regular rides, I really find that I enjoy using the Garmin watch a lot more. And overall for my use, the Garmin seems to fit a lot better than the Apple watch did for me. So the overall cost benefit, performance benefit for me actually works out really well. I wanna hear what you think about this. What are you using on your bike? Have you thought about ditching your cycling computer for a watch? I wanna hear down in the comment section below. As always, please consider giving this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please consider subscribing to Bike198 for more videos like this in the future. And until then, on to the next one. Thanks, guys. See you.